Hey guys, and welcome to part 20 of the shooter game. This is insane how far we've come so far. So let's get right into it, because I've got a lot to do today. So to start, I actually changed the gun effect to gun 4, which is another thing I added. It'll be in the backdrops and in the sounds tab of the bullet in the uh, progress report, which will come after this video. So you can check out the link in the description if you want to come to this project right here after everything that we've done today. So let's do the first thing that I was thinking of. So to start, I thought I would be I thought it'd be pretty cool to add uh, coins as collectibles. So let's just quickly add that. So I'm gonna draw a uh, some a coin collecting thing that we can get. Alright, so here I have just a little stack of coins. Uh, I know it's not the best, so we can just code it in real quick. I'm going to call this coin. I'm going to go to the code, and what we'll do is we will add another one of these buttons right here. It says when I receive play, we're going to make one with the clone ID of coin. And now when I start as a clone, uh, if the clone ID is equal to bullets, do that. Uh, if it's equal to health, here, I'll just clear the blocks here. Um, and now we're also going to add one for uh, coins. So if the clone ID is equal to coin, uh, we'll have one of these. We'll duplicate this. And let's, let's take, oh my goodness, clean up blocks. And we're going to make this coin. We'll switch the costume to coin. Go to random position. Dark sound health collect. We don't want that in the back. Drop in the stage here. I have a coin collect which we can add to the collectibles like that. And now that we have that, we can add that uh, coin collect here. Now it will do the exact same thing, except it's not going to change the player lives. It's actually going to change the cash. And we don't need this uh, if statement here. Uh, we'll change the cash by uh, 50, so we'll get 50 whenever. Actually, that seems like a little much. We'll do 25. Okay, so now we have that. That's pretty nice. I think that's pretty good. Now, one more thing that I was going to add to all of them is that when it's collected, it's just fading away and getting bigger, but I think it'd be also cool if it would turn as well. So I don't know how much it should turn, but we can just try 15 and see if that's good or not. Okay, now we can start this and see what happens. Here we have some coins. They seem to be awfully small. So I'm just going to see what it's like, but when I click this, it seems... seems to work kind of okay so let's uh let kind of change this around a little bit so when we show this we don't want it to be that small that is too small so we'll go if the clone id is equal to coin uh let's see what would be a good size for it It'd be a hundred a hundred is even too small i think maybe the, our best bet is is to make this 50 and then just go into here and here we'll just make it bigger let's we'll make a pile of coins there all right now we can try that again I noticed that there's one glitch that seems to be happening when we're playing it actually goes to the next wave before we kill all the people in the game like it's one less so let's just see what the problem is here because it does not seem like it's been doing that it seems like it's just started to do that it's in the enemies so first of all we've got one of each of these items on the screen so I'm just gonna make sure that each of these work so to start with this one I think that's pretty cool this one that's good nice 
for that size. It's all working. I know it's too quiet for you guys to hear because it's coming on my computer and I'm speaking into my microphone. In the last video, I just turned up the volume for all of these things, but uh, right now it's just too quiet, I'm sure, for you guys to hear. Okay, I think I found something that could be the problem. Here it says when the enemy, enemy lives is equal to zero, it's going to add one to the dead guys, but then it does die, which also adds one to the dead guys. So I think if we erase this one here, everything should go back to normal, which would be really great. Uh, now we're playing. It should go back to normal, and the waves should only yep, come after everybody is killed. That one works, so let's just see if this all works. Okay, that seems to be working pretty nicely. Real quick, one thing that I found that's super, super minor, but if we go to score, there is a variable called y, which is not needed at all, so we can just delete this variable, and that's just something we can do. One last thing that I think we could do is we can make the collectibles disappear after a while. They are appearing, but then they are lasting forever, so it's not really, like, I feel like it should be something where we want to get it fast, so that it's up, if it's up here in the front, we want to go up there and get it as fast as we can and risk our life, because it'll disappear after a while. So that's one thing we can do. You can say, uh, when the flag is, or when I start as a clone, and we don't need to check to see what the clone ID is or anything, because we'll just have it happen for every single one. It will wait, uh, pick random... Maybe it'll delete itself from like 20 to 30 seconds or it's about like that and then it will delete itself but when it deletes itself it will delete itself in a way that it normally does so uh, let's see what the normal death of is this or kind of gets bigger and everything but we'll just get rid of this variable so now no nothing good will happen but it will still disappear in that same animated way. So we can bring this all the way down to where we need to go. We can zoom out if we want, do this faster, and then attach it right there at the end. All right, now we can just see if this works. Okay, I collected that one. I have absolutely no idea. I just did it instinctively. But another one appeared, so we'll just wait to see if this one works. We also have this bolts one here, so we'll see if that works. We also have a glass up here. Okay, that one just disappeared. We'll see for this one. There we go. It just disappeared. Alright, that's nice. Uh-oh, I am out of bullets. I just let it disappear and I need my bullets. Okay, here we go. Four shots left. Ah, uh, no! Okay. That's pretty nice. I, I like that. That is all for this video. In the next video, it will be a progress report. So you can actually check out this game. I'm going to share it and then you'll be able to check it out in the description also you can see everything that we've done so far in the next video which will be a progress report thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you next time you do not understand how much i appreciate you for doing this many parts in the shooter game this game is going to get so much better so make sure that you continue to watch these videos thank you so much for everything that you've done so far and i cannot wait to see your finished product also, just make sure to have fun while doing this. This has been a really fun process for me, and it should be for you too.